Today we're going to talk about the 10 greatest things at the buffalo chip. Can you believe it? Oh, and stay tuned to find out why we think they're the best of the best at the Sturgis Rally. Let's get to it. So first we're going to introduce ourselves. My name is Bob. And I'm Tam. We actually have Bob and Tam's Excellent Adventure, a YouTube channel. We're going to do this for the Buffalo Chip because we're going to give them what we think is the top 10 things we like about the Buffalo Chip, which makes it the greatest event in Sturgis. There you go. Let's start with number 10. We're starting off with number 10. This is the fun. You know, I don't know how many of you realize that the Buffalo Chip, you know, they're going on this year on their 44th year that they've been in business. How about that? And what makes them so special is back 44 years ago, there wasn't any type of venue like this that had camping, that had concerts, that had, you know, all this great stuff. So actually, I think they're actually the number one of everyone that ever started thinking about this. They were the first. They had this ingenious idea and they ran with it and look where it's taken them. What makes this campground so great and entertainment center is it was built by bikers, far bikers. Rod's been that? riding motorcycles way before any of us, way before I was probably alive. <laughs> you know, he's been riding for a long time. You know, it's really great. And he still rides. <laughs> and he's built that. His son rides, his daughter rides. You know, everybody that kind of takes care of the business there at the chip, they ride. And the whole idea of this campground and entertainment and complex that they have is they want to serve the bikers the best they can. And they've done the best they can all the way up to now. They're still the number one venue that you can find all the great concerts at and all that great stuff. So we're going to be talking about that. So that's what makes number 10 so special is that they started... They started it all. Nine. Number nine is the bike shows. I have never been anywhere that has this many bike shows. They have around 10 on the average every year. Sometimes they go to 11, sometimes they have nine, but they have biker shows for everything. Everything from, you know, baggers to vintage bikes to EVOs to Sportsters. Even last year they had a Honda bike show. That's right, and they even have a special day for the girls when they do that special ride. That's right, and these bike shows are awesome. Only one, the rat hole, is charges to get in. So if you have that special cool bike and you want to put it in a show, the Buffalo Chip is a place to take it. They have all kinds of incentives, all kinds of great giveaways for the bike shows too. Eight. Number eight is one of the things, you know, a lot of the other campgrounds do this, but I always put this at the top because they do three and sometimes they even do more than this. It's the rides that the Buffalo Chip sponsors. One of the great rides is the Women's Day. They have the Biker Bells ride that Tony puts on. That's uh, Rod Woody's daughter. And it starts out there in Deadwood and comes in and the whole day is dedicated to empowerment of women. At the end, when you show up back at the Buffalo Chip, they have a whole day with some vendors farm and all that. And one of the neat things about this ride is, hey, us guys can go along too. That's right. So if you wanna go out and ride with the ladies, be involved with all that, join up, get involved with that. And that, that goes with that. Another great ride they have is if you're a NASCAR fan, you might be wanting to check this one out. It's Rusty Wallace ride. You know, Rusty's world famous also also, him and his son make choppers down there in North Carolina. So that's really neat. So that's another ride to check out. But one of the ones that's the Cadillac of all rides that you just can't miss for the adventure and the ride and the camaraderie and all that great stuff is the Legends Ride. That's put on by the Buffalo Chip too. That's down there in Deadwood, historic Deadwood. They have all kinds of things going on. They have a raffle. They give away a bike that they end up giving away all the money to charity. They said they even had prints and they've had all kinds of different things that they have. It's just a really great time to go down there and spend some time in Deadwood in the morning and then go out in the afternoon and go on that great ride with the Legends heading back to the Buffalo Chip. That's right. And then they have all kinds of things going on once you get back to the chip right there at the end of the ride. Seven. Another neat thing you may not realize at the Buffalo Chip, this is number seven, and what makes this special is a lot of people think, hey, I gotta buy a ticket to go see this concert or that. No, that ain't what we do at the Buffalo Chip. You get what they call a camping pass. What that's good for is 24 hours of fun and excitement that you can have. And if you're staying there, everything that you do inside the campground is free. Everything from the concerts to the camping and all the extra entertainment, all the stunts, everything that they have going on there is free with your camping pass. Six. This is number six. It's all about camping and staying overnight or whatever you're gonna do there. If you have a camping pass, you're coming for the concert or whatever, you can stay that night if you bring a tent. There's a whole lot of areas there you can tent camp. There is trailer places for you to put trailers. Yep. They have the ultimate VIP. Clamping tents area. 
They also have the RVs. That's Finsky Park. Where it even includes meals with that. You do. It's glamping, not camping. So they also have full hookups, they have dry camping, they have electric and water spots. They got a whole lot of different, you know, they got thousands of spots there. And that's true. And you can pick and choose what you want. If you just want to bare bones it and sleep on the ground, you can do that. Or if you want to glamp it and get all your meals provided and your own private potties, all that stuff, you can do that too. And anything in between. So they have cabins, they have trailers to rent. You go through Jack's trailers to get trailers if you want to rent trailers there. So it's really set up for whatever you want to do for a stay there. So that's our number six. Top reasons to go to the Buffalo Chip. Five. Number five is one of the things that you just don't know which we call the unexpected things that happened at the Buffalo Chip. You know, they got some really great things that go on there. You know, last year they had the jump, the death-defying jump. That's right. During, right that before the concert. That was pretty cool, yep. if you weren't there. And that was all free. They also had, uh, during that same time, there was a stunt team came in with some uh, little cars, and big cars really, but they did, were doing burnouts. Felt like going, you were in Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy, all that neat stuff. They also have some other things. A couple years ago, they had the Gun Fest, where you could have actually gone out and shot all these different kinds of guns. The manufacturers came out that was neat they have sometimes they have the machine gun shoot i think they had that last year i think that might be going on this year again but i mean they got all this great stuff that you can do during that time <clears throat> one of the other things that happened last year which you just never know <laughs> they had fox and friends actually covered the sturgis in the morning when they were doing their live show out there on the east coast you could actually be there at the pancake breakfast that they have for at you every morning chip. that you could go there and be involved and be on national tv while they were putting on the buffalo chip and also they had christy gnome showed up that's right the governor she was there and she it was it was an awesome time and kind of early it was dark o'clock but it was a great time <sighs> All right, now we're up to number four. And what that is, you know, I've been kind of talking about some of the great things that you can do at the chip. Let's say you don't want to go to any concerts and you're not going to do any camping there, which that's your loss. <laughs> but you can go up to an item that they call the Crossroads. What's so special about that is all bar. the things that go in there at the Big Engine Bar. They have vendors there. They have the Wall of Death there and what's one of the things they have that the guys might want to check out they have the international bikini team there washing bikes and that's all free to go up there and see and watch and uh, participate in if you get your bike washed don't forget to tip those girls they also have the field of flags that's right so that's a great thing to check out if you're there before the rally starts they put the flags up they'll be telling us the day they're going to be doing that but that'd be worth checking out the other thing they do inside the big engine bar is they have bands and all that stuff that's going on up there. They got Fozzie's Garage and all kinds of neat stuff. You can get tires mm -hmm. and uh, if you got Indian motorcycles, they do tuners and all kinds of stuff. They got a dyno up there in the front. So there's all kinds of stuff going on up there in the crossroads. And to get in there, it's all free. And that's also where the bike shows are at. That's right. So you can come in anytime and watch those bike shows. You don't have to buy a ticket. You don't have to do anything. They got great parking there. Easy to get your bike in. You get to park right there on the asphalt right in the end when you first come in. So it's easy in, easy out. You get right back on. And so that's a really great thing to do. If you're not staying at the chip, something you can do for free. There you go. Three. Number three. This is one of the things that I never really realized until we stayed at the Buffalo Chip to see this. You know, one of the things that I hear all the time, people say, you know, this bike rally's gotten so commercialized. It's not like it used to be, da, 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 da. Well, we've talked to a lot of people, especially when we stay at the Buffalo Chip, and we see this. And this is one of the things that we actually had one of our subscribers actually came from Iran. And I won't tell you his whole story, but we'll get down to the point. But he came across and was talking to us and, and he was telling us about his adventure coming over. And, he, and I said, well, are you here by yourself or did you come with somebody? He said, oh, no, I'm here all by myself. And I said, well, wow, did you find some guys and stuff to ride with? And he says, oh, yeah, I'm just camping right over here with my tent. And he says, I got like five guys we're going riding every day. I got really good friends with them. And that's what makes the Buffalo Chip so special. We've stayed at a lot of other campgrounds in Sturgis and we don't see this anywhere but here. Pretty much everybody that's inside the campground is your friend. It's like family. You can go in there and if you're by yourself, you rode in on your bike by yourself, you put your tent up, don't hesitate to go talk to people because they're all friendly. They're all there for a good time. We met a group that's been coming over 20 years to Sturgis and they were over in a little compound over there and I walked up to them and I said, hey, can I talk to you guys? And I said, how many is in your group? And he said, oh, we got about 40. So, wow, where do you guys come from? They said, I don't know, all of the United States. And I'm like, really? I said, how do you know each other? And they said, from here, the Buffalo Chip. And I'm like, really? He said, yeah, over the 20 years, 40 years, whatever we've been coming here, every year they meet new people and they bring them into their camp. And they all bring different things. One guy cooks it. But it was just a great experience to see these guys only meet up every year. That's right. So it's just so special that you can meet people there 
and have a good time, even if you're by yourself. Have that biker camaraderie where you can go there, meet people, everybody's welcoming, everybody will have it, sit down, have a beer with them. It's just a great overall experience there at the chip. Two. Number two, this is the thing that I hear all the complaints these last two years in Sturgis. Everything's so freaking expensive. Huh? I can't even buy a beer for under $8. Some places are charging $10 for a beer. That's, That's ridiculous. Hey, that is ridiculous. <clears throat> What's the Buffalo Chip doing? They've been doing this for, I don't know, what do you say, 10 or 15 years? Something like that. They've been doing this. They have dollar beers. You're like, where the heck is that at? Woody's Watering Hole, right down there in the amphitheater. They have dollar beers and dollar hot dogs. They're right next to Domino's. So it's easy to find. They're open till like 5 p.m. every night. You can go down there, get beers for a dollar. There's no limit. So go down there and get a couple beers, sit around in the amphitheater. The amphitheater is open all the time. They open up about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning and you can go down there and you can just drink all day long. That's our number two, dollar beers at the Buffalo Chip. So you can drink until five. Enjoy the concert and be well enough to drive home if you're not staying there at the chip. There you go. <sighs> Number one. We've been waiting all day for this one and you can't already believe <laughs> Most it. Most exciting. But you probably already know the Buffalo Chip leads the way in concerts. You know, no matter where you're going, when it comes to the biker community, they always have the best concerts during the time that they're there. The lineups. That's right. And they have some great bands over the years. You know, they've had Aerosmith, they've had all kinds of great things. This year, they have gone to the next level. The number one, number one request last year, and we went to Rod at Woody, and we said, hey, you know, you need to get this guy here because everybody's commenting. And he's like, man, he, he just charges so much, we just can't justify bringing him in. And I'm like, so that's where we kind of left it at. Well, this year it was on Tuesday, August 6th, Sixth? they're gonna have Jelly Roll. How can about you, that? Can you believe it? You know, he's got a CMA award, he's working on a Grammy. You know, this guy has just taken off. He's gone, he used to do some rap music, he got in the country now. He's probably the number one all around artist to have them at the chip this year. That is priceless. You know, here's another great thing. What do they have on Thursdays? Thursdays, they have Freedom Celebration, and it's all about our veterans, those that serve, those that are serving, and they have a great guy coming in for that. Besides that, it's been going on for 34 years. That's Can you right. believe that? So who we got going on right now is going to be Kid, Kid Rock. Rock. Kid Rock's going to come in there, and they're going to, he's going to rock it. So with that, we're going to be saying that what, what's going to make this so special is this is going to be a rock and roll week. That's right. Because we got Jelly Roll, and we got Kid Rock. So what better can we do than that for a great time at, at the, the Buffalo, Buffalo Chip? We have Travis Tritt and Aaron Lewis is coming. And probably by now they've already announced a couple more bands. But you know, they, they always have great bands. But this year, is, is, they've gone a different direction. Normally, it's the first weekend has all the best bands. And they haven't told us who the best band is going to be on Saturday night yet. But what they've done now is they've taken the middle of the week now and have put two sellout crowds. You want to check all this out. And they're going to have a bunch of more before the rally's over. They'll be letting us know before we get to the rally. We're going to know there's going to be a whole great lineup that the Buffalo Chips do. And this year, the 84th and the 85th, which is the Buffalo Chips 44th and 45th, Rod has told us Woody. He likes to go by Woody. That's his nickname. Rod's his real name. But Woody told us that Next two years, he's blowing it out. He's going to give out the best show Sturgis has ever seen. So, hey, we're blocked in for this year and next year. We're going to be there because we want to see the best show on earth. And that's going to wrap up our top 10 that we gave you for why you should be at the Buffalo Chip. And if you've got some great ideas that you liked about the Buffalo Chip that we didn't cover, put it down here in the comments. Let them know the staff's going to be watching this because this is on their website and on their YouTube channel. So check that out and make sure you put the comments down here so they know what's going on and tell them who you like to see. You know, they did, they've done a lot of surveys. You guys need to really check out their Facebook page and their YouTube channel and see all the latest things that are going on there. They're giving out some great information for you to help you with the rally. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out the Buffalo Chips Facebook page, website, and their YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, give them a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next video. Hey, if we don't see you anytime soon, we will definitely see you in Sturgis. Put it on your calendar, book now before, hey, they sell out. Be there or be square.